You'd be surprised how much time my favorite Trello automation has saved me. I talk about automation a lot on this channel, and I talk about Trello a lot on this channel, so I thought it was about time that I really combine the two and tell you my top 10 favorite ways to automate Trello. Okay, number 10, scheduling posts into my Slack channel. So you may or may not know that I have a membership in my business where I teach solopreneurs just like you how to create more simplified and efficient processes, use affordable automation, and create a more streamlined business. And one of the things that I have included in that membership is a private Slack channel. Now, if you don't know what Slack is, Slack is kind of like a community. It's it's a group chat, basically. And it's a place where my members have direct access to me as they're going through courses and different things in the membership, where they can ask direct questions, get feedback on things that they're working on as a result of the courses that they're taking. And it's a great place for that kind of interaction and community to build. But I pop in there live at least once a week to answer questions and just kind of give real-time feedback instead of people having to wait for me to see a message and respond to it. And so in order to remind people, hey, that time is coming up, I'm able to schedule from Trello a message to automatically post over in that Slack channel, reminding them, hey, I'll be here live in an hour. So it's not a huge need. It's not something I had to automate, but I just thought, you know, it's nice to have those reminders. It's easy to lose track of time for people. And, you know, if they have questions or things that they want to get feedback on, I want it to be easy for them to remember. So I schedule that once a week message to pop in there and just kind of do a reminder. So that's one simple way to use Trello automation to communicate with my community. Automation number nine is creating cards from forms. So I use things like Google Forms, Typeform, even sometimes forms straight from my email platform in different places on my website and inside the membership, outside the membership, and all of that. And I'm not a fan of just receiving a bunch of email notifications saying, hey, somebody fill out that form. I don't love having to go into just kind of like a spreadsheet to see the results. I like to have individual cards on my Trello boards, because Trello is where I already live, so that I can see, hey, a new response came in, I can look at that response, and I can categorize and do something with it accordingly. So by using a third-party tool like Zapier, I'm able to create a connection between any of those different platforms into Trello and automatically create those cards. I can also take that a step further if I want to, and inside of Trello, I can create an automation that says, hey, when a new card appears on this list, meaning that a new form was submitted, add me to the card, make sure that I'm watching the card, and then that will notify me that a form has been submitted. So I don't have to remember or go check it all the time. I know that I'm gonna get notified when a new form is submitted. Number eight, automated card completion. So there are certain things that I do that I trust at this point that I've built the habit and I know that I'm going to complete the task. And I'm able to set up in Trello for it to look at the due date that I've set and the time and say the moment that card is due, go ahead and mark it complete. Whether I choose to get a reminder from those tasks or not, it helps to keep my tracking up to date because I don't always have to remember or take the time to go in and click that little button to say that, yep, I completed that task. It's also great to have this automated card completion because sometimes, and you might have seen this in a previous video, you need that due date completion to trigger another event in order to create scheduled automation for something that maybe is not available natively. For example, the resetting of checklists. Check out that video above if you haven't seen that one yet. My seventh favorite way of automating Trello is tracking progress in a project or task completion. So I may mark something complete, but I love to be able to create automations where it will then move a card through the lists so that it goes from the beginning of the process and makes its way all the way to completion on its own. It saves me time not having to go in and continually move it, especially if I'm on the go, because dragging cards around in mobile isn't as quick and simple as it even is in the desktop version. So it just saves me a couple of seconds here and there, but it adds up over time. My sixth favorite way of automating Trello is 
reminders for my strategic exercise plan. So I took some time to figure out how I want to exercise throughout the week, what things I want to do on which days. And rather than having to stop and think, oh, is it Monday? Am I supposed to be doing arms? What am I supposed to be doing? I've set up rules within Trello so that it automatically puts the correct card on my today list for the exercise that I had planned in advance to do that day. It's a small thing, but the time that it saves me not having to check my schedule, think about, well, when's the last time I did arms or when's the last time I did abs? It just saves me time and effort. And honestly, when it comes to exercising, I need the least resistance possible. I need that reminder of just take your few minutes and do this workout and move on with your day, right? It's it's all about the path of least resistance that helps me stick with my habits. Now, all of these so far, I have not yet done videos showing you how they work. So if you would like to see a video of a specific one, drop a note in the comments and let me know which one you want to see, and I'll do a video for it. Okay, we're down to the top five, and these all do have a separate video on the channel showing you how to do it, so I will make sure to link above to all of those videos as I go. Number five is automatic card or checklist reset. I use this for a lot of different things, but one of the main ways I've been using it is actually in our mastermind board. We have a Trello board that we use to communicate with and create community for our mastermind. And we have a checklist that people use to indicate whether or not they're gonna make it to a particular live session. And when that due date is marked complete saying, hey, the session already happened, it automatically resets that checklist so that the next time around it's all blank indicating that nobody is attending until they go in and check it. It's a simple thing, but it allows me to know that if a particular item is checked on that checklist, then that person is confirming they're going to be there live. Number four, budget calculations. Now, I just recently hinted at this in a recent video where I was talking about the lesser known functionality of Trello dashcards, but even beyond using Trello dashcard functionality to roll up my profit for the year, I also am using Trello automation to do the calculation between expenses and revenue and arrive at that profit to begin with. And that saves me a ton of time because I don't have to go in and calculate for each month and manually put in the amount. And this also helps when I'm on the go. If I see a new order come through, I can go straight into that Trello card and add that revenue, which will automatically update my profit and then again, automatically roll up for the year into that dash card. It's pretty awesome. Number three, and I have talked about this one a fair amount, is automated habit tracking. Now, my version of doing it for myself is a cross-board automation because I love to live on my command center board, but I don't want all of my tracking of my habits on that board. I want to keep that board more clean. So I've set up an automation between that board where those recurring tasks appear and a separate board that is tracking all of my habit activity. But there is also a version where it's all happening on just one board. And this is great if you are just starting to get used to either Trello or habit tracking or just building new habits in general. It's great to start with that all in one board so that you can see everything in one place and it keeps it nice and simple for you. Number two is my automated content creation and strategy system. And I use this for multiple different platforms. It's how I determine either what fresh pin I'm going to be working on next, um, what content I need to create for the week for email, for Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube. It's a simple automated strategy, but it takes the guesswork out of it for me. It makes it a lot easier for me to stay on track with things because I don't have to take the extra time to stop and stretch strategize as well. That part I already spent time doing. I set up the system and now I just write so much easier. And then my absolute favorite way to use Trello automation is recurring tasks with reminders. You may have seen other videos and I'll post, there's one in particular I'm thinking of that I will share up above, but literally my entire productivity strategy hinges on recurring tasks with reminders from Trello. So whether it's personal habits that I'm working on or things that I need to do for my business, 
all I do is set up these recurring tasks, make sure that the reminders are there, and then when those reminders pop up on my phone, I either take action immediately, or if I don't have time to do it right in that second, I leave that reminder there annoying me because I'm one of those people that needs to have no notifications, but I let it sit there and annoy me until I stop and actually do what I was supposed to do. It's literally the secret sauce behind how I've managed to create consistency in my business, in content creation, in course creation for the membership and all of that. It all comes down to Trello, but primarily recurring tasks with those reminder notifications. So I'm curious, if you use Trello already, are you using any of these automations? Are you using all of these automations? Which ones are your favorites? And is there something that you'd never thought of automating before, but now you're gonna try it? Let me know in the comments, cause I'd like to hear about it. And if you do something to automate your Trello that I didn't mention, Definitely let me know that in the comments because if I'm not thinking of something that I could automate in Trello, I want to know about it. <laughs> the online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.